Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm joined by Vantage Emblem to speak about some upcoming Pikmin mods which are very exciting. Hello everyone, I'm Vantage Emblem. If you haven't checked out my channel, subscribe Do it. Uh, to both of us actually. You should, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be taking a look at some upcoming Pikmin hacks that are coming out. These are all coming out in the next year? I believe so. I believe so. They're super exciting, and I'm going to say I'm actually excited for one of these. Maybe a little more than Pikmin 4. I know, blasphemy, but... Oh. We'll get to it. Yeah. Put me on the spot like that. I know. That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you like to start out by talking about Puffman Quest? Sure, yeah. All right, so Puffman Quest is a Pikmin 2 hack, but it has a very big twist. That being that it's not... Pikmin anymore, it's Puffman. It consists of an entirely new adventure along with entirely new Pikmin types. There are some big defining things that make this hack stand out, and I know you're really excited to talk about it. First thing of Puffman Quest is obviously the elemental buffs, and that elements don't just play as a weakness, but both like a buff and a weakness, as Pikmin will temporarily like be buff rather than, you know, just die to certain elements, which is really cool. Puffman Quest also adds a new type of Puffman, of course, this one being the Toxic Puffman, and it's the equivalent to a White Pikmin. So you can tell that I'm hyped for this. I love White Pikmin. These little green goobers have a great design. They look almost like a spider with multiple eyes and multiple limbs. I guess it could be based off some spiders like the Black Widow, which are highly venomous. On top of that, it also keeps all the traits of the White Pikmin, except it only has the Poisonous When Eaten trait when buffed, which is interesting. And because of their venomous attributes, it allows them to drink Acidic Nectar, which is a new kind of hazard that has been added to Puffman Quest. And that is the exact next thing I want to speak about. What's interesting about Acidic Nectar is that it takes a feature which is already in the game, and is usually a way to buff your Pikmin, and turns it into an actual danger to you, which I could see make some really cool flaws. For example, eggs could drop from the ceiling, dropping acidic nectar on the floor, meaning that you have to either avoid it or have toxic puffmen at your disposal. This also makes me think of what other features you could take from the player and give to the enemies. Kind of similar to the antenna beetles and how they use a whistle against you. This also greatly fits with the theme of puffmen, as puffmen are originally from Pikmin 1, and their entire thing was that they are evil Pikmin. And who knows what we haven't seen yet. Not just all this, but Puffman Quest also introduces new enemies, or I guess you could say old enemies. It introduces enemies from Pikmin 3, such as the Pyroclasmic Sluch and the Arctic Cannon Beetle. God knows what else there is to come. What particularly interests me about this is the Pyroclasmic Sluch, because this guy is all like wobbly and he just looks really confusing. And I can't imagine how hard that would have been to put into Pikmin 2, but it's really impressive. And I wonder if there's more Pikmin 3 enemies coming that we haven't seen yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we somehow saw somebody like Shaggy Longlegs, or possibly the Bearded Amprat to pair nicely with the new Vault Puffman. While on the topic of elemental enemies, there is also a much more prominent inclusion of the elements. Like I mentioned previously, the elements can now be used to your advantage while also at your disadvantage, allowing for some really cool scenarios. And I think this is one of the things the mainline Pikmin games are missing quite heavily. There isn't really that much elemental stuff that is pushed into actual gameplay. And of course in all the games there are elemental hazards and stuff, but when we see a fiery Bulblax, we never see an electric Bulblax. And I would love to see the elements pushed further, so it's not just when you unlock blue Pikmin you go wherever you want, but let's say there's some sort of weird mixture of hazards which will need some sort of certain combination of Pikmin. And I think we could be seeing something like this in Puffman Quest and maybe even Pikmin 4. And of course these elements come paired with different types of Pikmin, and we are usually very much used to red, blue and yellows as our primaries, but these are finally gone. We don't see this happen in a lot of hacks, but they are fully wiping out all the old Pikmin types and rebranding them into Puffmin. This sadly does mean no white Pikmin, but it's alright because they got a rebrand. But something as simple as this really does freshen up a hack, fully playing with new modelled Pikmin that are not the ones you see in every single hack in every single game. It's really exciting, and of course it's not just cosmetic either. They now have the ability to get buffed by their respective elements. I'm really excited to see what else Puffman Quest has in store for us and everything behind the scenes that I saw went into the trailer so I know as much as you guys know. Speaking of, thank you very much for the opportunity to allow me to make the Puffman trailer. Shouts to Captain Sully. Alright, now we're gonna move on to another Pikmin hack I'm very very excited about. Pikmin S. Not Pikmin 5, Pikmin S. Pikmin S 
is another upcoming Pikmin hack that features five entirely new Pikmin types. Their capability is loosely a remix of the types already existing in base game Pikmin 2. These types are not only set apart by their different colors, but also by the unique flowers that they sport on the top of their heads. These fresh new types each have their own onions and sport their own unique qualities. They're the core of what makes this hack so special. Given that no Pikmin types are returning, this means that this game has an entirely new system of hazards to learn. From snow bombs and frost to lightning and ink, things just work a little bit different this time around. For example, in place of the ultra bitter spray, there is a new freezing spray, but some enemies are immune. This immunity fixes the major problem with the ultra bitter spray. Also, the game is taking place on multiple different planets with multiple big new areas to explore. For example, one of the areas is themed around Mars. This leads to some of the most unique area designs I've seen in any Pikmin hack. In terms of the plot, I'm very excited to meet the new leader, Davey, Davey. and to see where Louis's journey to start a cooking show takes him. And I'm really excited to see all the new enemies added, including some returning favorites from Pikmin 3, ported back into Pikmin 2, just like in Puffman Quest. All right, let's finally move on to the hack. The hack that I am more excited for than Pikmin 4. Maybe. I'm not sure that's entirely true, but it's a buzzword that got you this far into this video now, isn't it? <laughs> and then the final one for today is Pikmin Squared, which is a very anticipated one and one I'm very excited about. Me too. <laughs> personally. So, for those who are unaware, Pikmin Squared is a whole remake of Pikmin 1 in Pikmin 2, with enhanced Pikmin 2 controls and especially enhanced bomb rock controls, which I'm very, very excited for. But the one thing I wanted to talk about on this is uh, definitely the first person camera, because that is going to make some great thumbnail shots. And it's also just a really cool feature that I'm happy they added to Pikmin Squared. Oh, absolutely. It's it's an underappreciated feature in Pikmin 3. Absolutely. I mean, without it, we wouldn't have got that Mr. Beast meme. I might cut that joke. I do forget about the Pikmin 3 camera, yeah. which makes me sad. But when I do remember, I'm like, this is the best thing ever. Absolutely. Yeah. And then there's also, you know, co-op, which I know there's already mods for Pikmin 1 with co-op. But the fact that it's an entire remake mod that has full co-op support and a whole remix campaign at the end, which we'll get to, and challenge mode completely recreated with this co-op in mind. It's just really cool. Very unexpected. I thought it was going to be Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. And like, that's it. They've really gone like above and beyond with some of these things, and I'm very excited to play co-op. Me too. And especially if you want to talk more about that uh, remix campaign, they're remixing all of the areas to make a essentially a New Game Plus campaign that's Louis' quest, and I am so pumped. They did it better than Pikmin 3 Deluxe. They did more. Absolutely. <laughs> which is crazy. But yeah, that's it. That's our opinions on some very anticipated upcoming Pikmin mods, and I'm very excited to play some of them in the future and thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed make sure you subscribe and subscribe to vantage emblem as well and when these mods come out you can bet both of us are going to be covering them on our respective channels and we may even try some playthroughs together who knows i mean co-op is very enticing yes i would honestly love it i would i'm very up for that on that note my name is vantage emblem this is wiggle man i hope you have a great day goodbye